probably just my age. My son's older than that. Are you muted? Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul Eastex Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I'm joined on mic by Tyler. Oh, to all the little crawfish out there watching. <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> Tyler. And I've also got Brandy Cats off to the side. Brandy's back, baby. Hello. Yeah, and we are streaming Pumpkin Jack from Head Up Games, the German publisher. Although it was developed, the, the actual developer name is just one person's name, but I can't imagine that it was actually only developed by one person. And what's going on with the game sound? Because I don't hear it, so let me try to figure that Alone out. Alone in his basement, he <laughs> worked on it. Our six had to make crawfish sauce today at work. Oh, wow. I don't work anywhere where that would ever come up. <laughs> Interesting. Well, everyone, you know, there's a little history behind my crawfish situation. Should I do performance or quality? I'm on a Series X, so you would think quality would be fine, right? We'll try it. But it's nice that it supports those options, and this game is enhanced for the newer consoles, you know? So, here we go. But yeah, here's the story, guys. Back when I was still married, a few years back, you might remember, my ex in my ex's son invited us Once over time, to have crawfish, which I had never eaten Arkansas before. And so, like, yeah, he put a lot of effort into making these crawfish, but I could not touch them or look at them. Like, I am very grossed out by crawfish, shrimp, insects. You know, it's probably like an insect phobia. But I just, I always felt bad because they didn't have any kind of alternate things. It was like they just fully expected that we all liked crawfish, but it was not the case. And I didn't mean to be rude or anything, but I hate that I let them down. <laughs> the I don't think I've ever had crawfish. You don't eat shrimp. On a cosmic scale. That's right, I don't. So, shrimp is good. He devised a plan to make things in Arkansas a little more entertaining. That's good, Darker Player. Yeah, I mean, plenty of people love crawfish. You know, like here in the South, it's a thing that people enjoy going to a restaurant for, etc. It really was developed by just one person, Horror Acolyte? That's impressive. I mean, it sounds like he got a voice actor or something. <laughs> I was streaming a game the other day where... No, I was playing a game the other day where the voices were very amateurishly done. Did I stream that game or am I thinking of something else? We streamed Windbound and it wasn't that. Popdo. Oh, interesting. Mighty wizard. Thank you for letting me know, Lyle. Anyway, yeah, maybe it was something I was playing at home. Could it have been Power Slave? Power Slave just got a remake, but I don't think it was that. I really can't think of which game it was, but it was like, wow, I haven't played a game with such unprofessional voice acting in a long time. Like, it's these, nowadays, it's usually quite good or at least decent, you know? And it's really pretty affordable to hire a modern voice actor. Yeah, it must be. Like, you could... There's all kinds of places you could go to find one online, right? Like, they don't have to be present. Nemet offers a great suggestion. I should have said I was allergic to crawfish. Yeah, see, I just didn't know whether I would like it or not. Like, I didn't realize I would be so grossed out by them. But next time, I certainly... That's a great idea. That walking sim wasn't the best voice acting? Yeah, horror acolyte. That might be the game. Although I still feel like maybe it's something that I just played privately. But I haven't played that many games lately, so who knows. 
Does anybody remember that, that horror game with the painting? It's like a Polish developed game and you're a painter and you walk around and the, the environment gets all blurry and things like that and it, you can't even die. Like, it's not that scary a horror game. Layers of Fear, that's it. Layers of Fear had the most terrible voice actor. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game, but the guy's like... He just sounds ridiculous. Really? You could die in Layers of Fear? I guess we couldn't in the first one or two hours that I played it. Yeah, it probably was one of the developers. I could see that. Hmm, this game plays quite fluidly so far. I like it. Okay, I feel like it probably would be 60 frames per second if we'd put it on performance, because it's not really. But it does look nice. Although I also feel like the Series X could handle this game looking just like this at 60. What do you think, Tyler? It'd be able to. So, I guess I mean, just an engine thing, maybe. Yeah, well, like you said, quality... You know, it's, it's it looks better than an N64 game, but it's not obviously the super highest quality graphics, oh. so maybe performance would be better. Perhaps so. Grown men have died for less than that, bird. Yeah, I mean, I usually do, guys. I just thought, hey, maybe the Series X can handle it at full quality without any downside. Who are you? How do you know my name? A servant of the devil. Wow. He's in league with Lucifer. Devil hasn't forgotten your penchant for trickery, Jack. He doesn't trust you. Every time I push A to advance the text, it makes me think I'm skipping like one text window because the animation is weird like looking. Weird, yeah, it's like a <laughs> jolt. For real. Forgot how to roast a chicken. Seriously, horror acolyte, because that dude's voice. It's like it's been a while since I played it, but he's like. Um, God, what was he like? Uh, I can't think of a thing he would say. What would he say? Like, I painted a lot. You know, he, I don't know. He just had like a weird voice. Speaking of which, let's begin your orientation. Orientation, what kind of fool do you take me for? The kind who spent centuries in corporals. Oh, wow. He's Rutger Hauer. Now, that guy's got a good voice. Mm -hmm. Is he still alive? That's nice to know. Icky's hating on EDF and says the voice acting's bad. In 5, it's not great, you know? In 4.1 and the one that came right before it, I thought it was quite solid. You know, like, if it wasn't... Like, the people are deliberately trying to be cheesy, you know? And in 5, perhaps they are as well, but it they just got worse people to do the writing and the voice, so it just doesn't quite work like it should. By the way, guys, you know, I, I have a reservation for a Steam Deck, and I was like, I just realized, hey, I thought they were going to contact us by the 25th to let us know that we could actually order it, but apparently they're rolling that out, so... Only for, like, the people that are the very first wave or something. Yeah, and that's a shame. I didn't think I waited a long time to, to sign up. I thought I did right away, but apparently I must have waited a little bit. Prying Eyes, pick up a crow skull. Cool. Their website was down for like three hours. Royal Bob! Oh yeah, you're right. The the day that it opened, right? Yeah. So anyway, apparently I'm still on board to be able to pre-order one. It just hasn't happened yet. But I did go to the webpage where it tells you whether your games you own have been tested or not. And Earth Defense Force 5 is on there as compatible but requiring some adjustments to, to play properly. So that yeah, probably play all games, but I guess they still need to be verified or something. Yeah, that's there are a few compatibility issues, you know, like the out of the games I own, there was about maybe like 15 or so that are actually not compatible right now. Drink. Sometimes I think it may be because of the power needed by the game, but other times it's probably just like some kind of OS issue, you know? Yeah. But with EDF5, it probably is just a matter of turning down the graphics a bit or something like that. Talk. Let's do it. Really? Is that the battery life? Well, I mean, that's how it would be with a gaming laptop as well, Lyle. You know, like, gaming out laptops, they get anywhere from one to three hours of battery life. Like, really terrible battery life. Shaking off those webs. It does feel good to have my own body again. Shouldn't have any trouble fighting them off. 
Yeah, no, darker player, you always like kind of twist the way people are actually feeling. Like, anyway, I've never been one to turn down a chance. Will you correct her, Tyler? Uh, I mean, there's 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 a lot of people who take things like that really seriously on the internet, game reviews and stuff. But you definitely can't lump them all together. Pumpkin or not, you're still human. That makes you their target. Am I human? I don't get it. You need someone who can think like a man. I guess I used to be human. I guess I count as human because I was a human in life. Must be what it is. As opposed to... <laughs> there you go. I was thinking Jack Skellington. I was like, somebody's going to get sued. Well, no. Pumpkin-headed guys have been around before that. Hello. Jack Skellington doesn't have an actual pumpkin head either. You know, it's like white and a bit skull-like. I think there's a scene, though, where he has a pumpkin head, pumpkin head, it is. Yeah, or whatever. In the beginning. Oh, in the very beginning, huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been a long time since I had a full watch of that movie. You know, like, I'll, Brandy and Mackenzie will be watching it, and I'll watch it in passing, but I'm not watching the whole thing. So, beat a roll. That's good. Can I pause and change it to performance? Let's find out. Options. Game. Yeah. Yeah, Bye. I mean, I, I definitely hope Microsoft pours hundreds of millions into a Brutal Legend sequel. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I don't think it... Definitely a console seller. Well, you know what they should have done, Tyler? They never made a Connect Party sequel for the Xbox One. Do you remember Connect Party? Uh, no. It was by Double Fine, and it was one of the few oh, yeah, genuinely okay. really good. Yeah, it was a yeah. really good party game that anybody could enjoy. Kids, adults, etc. You could take cute pictures with all the augmented reality things on the screen and such. But it was limited by the original Kinect being a total piece of crap camera, right? And, like, the, the Xbox One came out with a Kinect that nobody wanted it to come with. But a higher quality camera, they could have at least done a Kinect party sequel that would have been what the game always should have been, you know? Then, yeah. But no, they had no games in store for the Kinect. They're like, yeah, let's just pack it in. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yeah, That's Don Matrick for you. They completely abandoned it. Yep, well, they, very quickly. They forced the inclusion in while completely abandoning supports. Yeah, it may, I mean, oh. but again, that was Don Matrick's leadership. Like, once he took over on the Xbox, the late era Xbox 360, they stopped having hot exclusives and stuff, right? And then yeah. he launches the console, and what do you know? Like, nothing in the way of Kinect games and not very hot exclusives. So, and they got rid of him very quickly. Wasn't it like two months after, one or two months after the console came out, yeah. he got shuffled off? Dude was awful. He likes his TV, though. Like, if anybody likes TV, it's Don Matrick. Yeah. Look, you can stream Netflix on this. There's definitely no other way you could do that without a $500 <laughs> Xbox One. Exactly. Oh, and, and like, why would you want to use a remote control? You could just speak everything, right? And we'll charge you an extra 150 for that privilege. And you can watch TV through your Xbox. <laughs> that's such a needed feature. Uh, yep. Building in that pass-through that almost nobody even uses. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not opposed to it, to X, you know, to consoles having those kind of features. The problem is, like, he truly neglected investing in software development, you know, in the games part of things. That was lame. That shouldn't have even killed me. I'm mad that that happened, but anyway. You got smashed by a bridge. Yeah, well, I mean, that's not good, Platinum. What does it mean they decided they didn't like the games? Well, it doesn't make sense. Like, it, it tells you to trick. You have to just get behind it, I see. I mean, yeah, if I realized that could have hurt me, then I would have done that. But anyway. But why can you jump past it if... Like, why, yeah. what's the point of putting it down, you know? You, you jump past it. Yeah, what's even the point of it? Don't Maybe pumpkins float? Then back over it or something. Huh. Yeah, I guess we'll see. It did activate a checkpoint, though. That's good. Yeah, you know, Connect games, a Hexic game. People liked Hexic okay. I never cared for it. I didn't like at it all. either. I don't know what yeah. all the hype was for. I but mean, it's from Alexei Pajitnov, inventor of Tetris. Uh, 
that's kind of cool. But yeah, like, I mean, is Hexic even comparable in quality to Tetris? No way. <laughs> I like Tetris. Heck yeah. It's just that Tetris has been around so long and we've aged so much and all that that for a Tetris game to be very worthwhile, it needs to have good additional features, you know, yeah. good things built on top. What was that all about? Huh. Platinum really liked it. Yeah, I just, I never saw the appeal of it. You know, like some puzzle games have weird mechanics and they're not necessarily universal. And for me, that was Hexic. I got the Holy Glory Shovel. That's a good name for a weapon. So let's let's find a glory hole, Tyler. <laughs> that was good. One. I think it's supposed to be a play on that. I don't know. Okay, am I supposed or you to? just have a bad. Time. You never know. You never do. Oh, I see. Collectibles you've already collected are transparent, so you know you got them. That's always appreciated. Huh. Platinum says it's better than Candy Crush. Platinum also says that he doesn't like candy. That's weird, Platinum. I don't eat very much candy now that I'm on a low-carb diet, Tyler. Dad, I like candy. I eat a lot of it. For real, it's good stuff. I love it. Heck yeah. Well, at the dinner we went to tonight before I started to feel sickly in my abdominal region, uh -huh. they... Somebody was kind enough to put out little bowls full of truffles. What's the brand of truffle? Do you Lint. remember? Lint? Yeah, Lint. L-I-N-E-T. Yeah, and you know, there's the gross dark chocolate ones, but there were some real ones too. Dark and chocolate they were good. delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can have it all. For real. Uh, well. <laughs> okay. It really was. But yeah, I had a couple because we were celebrating Brandy's mom's birthday. Oh, cool. Yep, she's... Then they had all that crawfish, though. <laughs> not not at this particular one. Uh, no, we went to an Italian restaurant. An Italian restaurant that occupied approximately as much space as our living room. Yeah, it's not a big place. Ridiculously and it's always crap. packed. Yeah, so I was like... I told Brandy just before the stream started, well, if we get COVID, we know exactly where we got it from because that place was stupidly cramped. Ah, crap. Okay, so he can wind up... Yeah, it was good. I got chicken parmesan, and then instead of the spaghetti, I substituted vegetables. So, firstly, vegetables are good for you. Horrible, I don't know. What... A horrible substitution. <sighs> well, no, I mean spaghetti is delicious, but it's also carb. carby. Yeah. So I was trying to be good. You have to good. dodge a lot with this combat. <laughs> Well, BC no, says they're the they're too sweet. Yeah. Well, you know, BC's I do like I use a lot of mouthwash. Like when I got home, the first thing I did before getting sick was using some mouthwash because I try to at least do that frequently. You should do that too, Tyler. Uh, it's a mouthwash like, like dry out your mouth or something. I don't think so. Or the enamel on your teeth or something. I heard something about mouthwash not being that great for you. I mentioned it to my dentist, and he didn't recommend against it, but it's I don't know, I can look into it. Watch. Yeah, he was. Oh. But I mean, even if, like, brushing your teeth too frequently, that does wear off the enamel. But mouthwash yeah. is, like, a lot gentler, you know? But it, it cleans them some, and it's killing some of the germs that would be attacking your teeth, so... That's good. I do I'm have bad breath, but it's funny that you mentioned it. <laughs> well, I didn't mention it for that particular reason. about it. You mean like gum and stuff? Yeah, exactly. Not talking too close to people. Breathing through my nose. <laughs> so you were already prepared for social distancing. That's right. <laughs> yeah, the amount of garlic in mine. Uh, social distancing is in order. I'm just <laughs> oh. like, I'm going to have to brush my teeth. <laughs> yeah, but for real, Tyler, you should just find a kind you like and try it. I mean, if you need to research it to assure you that it's not bad for your teeth, then do so. But... It's not expensive. Like a big old thing of store brand mouthwash is like three fifty or four at the most, and that'll last you for a couple months. Okay, let's, let's take a look. Yeah, they are good character models in that time. <laughs> Icky had spaghetti beef bolognese, so that's spaghetti and bologna together. Bolognese. 
Interesting. Bolognese. Bolognese. I think it just means sausage, but I don't know. Some sort of word. Huh. So if I get more skulls, then I can unlock skins. That's cool. Even more character models. Yeah, like, I wonder if I've actually missed any. Probably. Was amazing. Cool when you Could unlock have done. skills or features more than skins, <laughs> but skins are alright. Well, considering it's from collectibles, you know, like, mm -hmm. that way you're not missing out on Im important things. Like, you're, you know, if it was, say, uh, an important yeah. attack or something. Because, you know, Tyler, we've talked about it a long time ago, but, you know, I was a real achievement hunter for a few years there, right? And, you know, like Simeus, like poor Simeus who has to avoid games that he doesn't think he can get all the trophies in, right? Like, well, collectibles can mess up the experience of playing a game. It's like, this is a game that would be fun if I didn't care about the collectibles. But the collectibles are unpleasant to go after, you know, that kind of situation? Yeah. So, it's nice when they're kind of optional, although I'm sure there's probably still achievements tied to them. Ah. Yeah, playing a game with, like, a guide to make sure you get all the collectibles is really helpful. Yeah, yeah. Simeus claims it isn't, but I know he's lying. <laughs> he totally is. But then he yells at me for auto popping games. So, like, if you play a game on PS4 and you can save, transfer, and get the free trophies on PS5. Oh, me. man, why wouldn't you do that? Yeah. He's a purist. Uh. <laughs> hey, tech guy, thank you for resubscribing. Thank you so much. We have some seriously awesome subscribers, and they really do keep the stream going. <laughs> All right, let's go buy that new skin. The lumber. Oh, I get to be a lumberjack. Cool. Achievement too. That looks like Spider-Man. Fashion victim. <laughs> buy a new outfit. You're a spider victim. Well, he is the colors of Spider-Man. You're right about that. But I, Tyler, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Awesome. So this reminds me of Medieval. It's got to be inspired by that, right? Yeah. Feels similar. The color scheme of the environment isn't necessarily very pleasing to me. You know, just like the purple and orange. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not a great game to look at, but you know, a, a 3D indie game is not going to be a fantastic visual experience. It's just they don't have the ability to create something like that. Yeah, that's a fair point. But yeah, I mean, down there's obviously right? lots of fog and stuff to kind of just make it look like there's things in the distance and stuff, you know, without having to create all that out. Yeah. I think it looks real good for what it is. This looks Certainly. Crazy. And, it, I mean, it feels very smooth. Which although it'd be... Important. Yeah. Wow, well, crap. Don't fall. Okay. This right. would drive me crazy. The platforming? Yes. Poor Granny doesn't actually enjoy platforming. Mm. I like platforming. This I can't cool. jump. Agreed. My girl can't jump. Aww. At can all. Can I jump around to that one on the right? It looks like it might have something. With that double jump, you can basically get anywhere. <sighs> hey, yes, love a double jump. And I just found a bird skull that is pretty missable. So, yay. Yes, Monty Python. Gotta love it. Bitch. Poor Brandy's never I'll seen go. Monty Python. I've seen Monty Python many <laughs> times. Hey, Chicago, we're glad you made it. How are you and Firelight doing? Most of Monty Python is pretty... Like, I mean, it's kind of like Saturday Night Live, where there's like not a lot of great stuff, but some of their movies are really good. Yeah, I mean, the movies all have something to offer, but also the show has several seriously iconic sketches, you know? You just gotta... Yeah. There's a lot of not great stuff, too. I enjoy it all, but I guess I can see how you could feel that way. So, you know, I went to that trip to Latvia a few years back. You remember that? Mm-hmm. And, yeah, why was I there for new audience members? I was there to tour the offices of Game Insight, which is a Latvian game developer slash publisher. And, anyway, they, they brought several of us over there. It was like six or seven journalists from different places. There was this British guy, this big, lunk-headed British guy, and he was talking real mess about Monty Python. You know, he was such a douche, this guy. And, like, we, we actually just argued, like, practically the whole time because he wouldn't stop trying to be a tool. Like, he was just not a good person. And I don't know why I even bothered talking to him, but I guess maybe, firstly, I don't get a lot of opportunities to talk to British people in real life. You know, you it's not like they're all that common in Texas. No, are they? 
Yeah, but anyway, that guy sucked. And, and, his, and his name was Jez Corden. <laughs> well, that's one of the people I have met in real life. And yeah, Jez has his things about him that suck, but he wasn't actually as big of a tool as this guy. Like, it would be hard to be that big yeah, a tool. But Jez is kind of a twerp on social media sometimes. Oh yeah, certainly. And you know, Jez did keep me from getting promotions and stuff, and he messed up my relationship with Microsoft. PR, which has never been fixed, you know, like I've never found a way back in. So, oh, certainly, uh, yeah, for real. I mean, I personally would have been better off had he never came along, but oh well. Perhaps your new body isn't needed here. Hop out for a minute. Yeah, the effect on the, the dialogue boxes changing is bothersome. Hop out of my body. Just have it fade out or do whatever every other game in the world does, but not this. Just don't do anything. <laughs> For real. Just just update it with no animation. That right. would still be better. Exactly. <laughs> so I get to roll my head around, he says. Let's see how that goes. Where's Hush. Chicago from? Let me guess. Chicago. <laughs> you would think so. I think Chicago has a relative or his wife has a relative in Texas, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since we talked about Instead, it. Instead, it was it was warmed up to twenty eight. Here we go, taking my head off. But yeah, there's Twisting been a around. there's been a cold streak going around the country. Ugh, I can't stand it. Texas has been cold. Texas it has. Four degrees and it's too cold. Fires families in Texas. Got it. Yeah, guys, our air conditioner on Tuesday, I think it was, our air conditioner wasn't working properly in our apartment. You know, it, it was, was like eighty degrees. Outside. Yeah, it was it was eighty. 80 degrees in our friggin' apartment, you know, and it's like wow. we didn't notice we didn't notice it was actually not working until like say nine o'clock at night, and we can call and get a maintenance person to come at like any time of day for air conditioning, which is nice because they don't want you to die of heat stroke or whatever. But we didn't do that because we just wanted to go to bed. We didn't have want to have to wait for the guy. So then the next day, of course, my plan was to call and ask them to come repair it. But the thing is, I went to work, and then when I got out of work, it had the cold front had come in, and it was real cold. <laughs> and then, yeah, they said they actually cannot put in new Freon and stuff when it's cold, so it needs to be warmer before they can come fix it. Weird. And that's just annoying. Yeah, it's also weird to me to think about air conditioning in February. Like, it's not even close to when the air conditioning will be turned on here. Yeah, like I... 80 degrees in Texas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, trust me, I wish it had not gotten so warm. Yep, it's not sure. Yeah. But I'd still take that over the freezing cold. Um, okay, how do I, I get up there? What am I missing? Is there some some is ledge I'm not seeing? Switch? Oh, maybe... Is there another switch? Oh. I see this switch. one. What did that switch do? Um, can... Uh, the one thing... That's a good question. What did it do? I'm gonna pay more attention. This game's cute. Try for it. Contest. Good luck, my friend. That was the problem. Nice call, Tyler. You have a a spider head pumpkin. Uh oh. Spider pumpkin head. Okay. Uh yeah, it is a pumpkin with tentacles. It's a squid pumpkin. Pumpkin squid. Okay. And by the way, guys, I would have seen that sooner, but when you're talking on stream, it takes a bit of your mental concentration. It reminds me of the One Chanbara Z2 stream, or whichever game it was. Like, we streamed in One Chanbara, and I was falling in the same hole for like two minutes before we realized what I was supposed to do. Hey, yeah. tech guy. Hey, that's when I start getting hot. It's about 80. I'm better now that you're here, my bro. Okay, I can go down there. I'm not exactly sure which way is the right way to go. Because neither one of these places is where I just was, right? I don't... I can't tell. Let's go down the hole, I guess. Whee! There's a ramp. Another ramp. And a bad guy. <laughs> Spider-Man doesn't wear overalls. Yeah, but you know he has like blue crossing sometimes. Uh, so one thing that this could use is 
more fluid combos with the shovel. <laughs> yeah, why just put Spider-Man in it? Is it just like mash mash? Yeah, and the the time between the swings is too long. Like un unless I'm missing something, it's not super fast like a game with a real combo system would have. Okay, how do I get up in there? I have to go up high and fall down into it. Is that it? Or is it, it looks like there's a switch maybe. No, nope, just walk right around. Simple enough. Tim Burton's version of Banjo. I guess it is a bit like that. Mm -hmm. Poor Lyle. He's got it quite hot over there, and he barely runs the air conditioner because of reasons. Expensive. Yes. But almost any amount of money is, is worth not being hot, in my opinion. Just being hot sucks. Yeah, I actually I hate being hot. Um... But I'm still pretty cheap too. But I'll run, the, I'll run my air conditioning when I need to. I hope so. Yeah, I, I I love winter. I mean, I don't like the snow, but I much prefer the cold versus the super super cold versus the super hot. We're the same there. Yeah, because it's much easier to warm your body up than it is to try to cool your body down. In my For opinion. real, you're right about that, and you save money on the on the temperature costs, you know? Like, not having to run the air conditioner. Even if you're running a heater, you don't have to run it as high or anything like that. Yeah. And it's, it's just easier to put on layers compared to take off layers. And the other thing is, like, the, co the coldest part of the day, or the night, or of the day, is like, you know, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. You know, you're at home and asleep, but the hottest part of the day in the summer is like 5 p.m., like when you're getting off of work, or... Oh, yeah. things and you have to deal with like the, the hottest part of the day if we could sleep through the hottest part of the day that would help <laughs> um, I could deal with summer a lot better but it's actually hard to sleep while hot don't you think oh it's way hard i can't sleep oh i hate it for real so that I was a problem for us portable just air conditioning and a fan. yeah oh and yeah my room cooled down we have a portable air conditioner in our room as well because our apartment like even if the air conditioner air conditioner is working great there's still like it just doesn't necessarily cool our room super well so we needed that extra thing yeah well and i have three small floors and so my my cooling and everything is in the basement and will like pump the air up the floors very well oh i thought you said you had small whores and i was like i, I don't <laughs> see how that relates but okay no my whores are all regular size <laughs> or amazonian oh wow amazonian impressive I assume they make good snoo snoo. Yes, they do. <laughs> Tyler, what do you think about the Futurama revival? I mean, what's the point when one of the key actors... It sounds like he's really not going to come back. Yeah, it does sound that way. And so it's going to be rough. Like, I mean, I'm all for it, but you know, they need to get the voice actors back. And I don't know, like, it's like I said, it's like millionaires fighting with billionaires over money. So I have a hard time taking either one side. Um, but it sucks that they're, that they're not going to be able to have the voice cast back. Yeah, I mean, he's so good as Bender, John DiMaggio. Right. It's, the, it's the single most iconic character from the show. Certainly. Sort of like having The Simpsons without Homer, you think? Although Homer ended up making The Simpsons worse as time went on, I would say, because they yeah, lean on him way too much. Said, yeah. The Simpsons is terrible now. I never yes. played that one vs. 100 game. Simmies is talking about one vs. 100. I was sad I never got a chance to play it. It was neat. I played it yeah, a few no, times. Really cool. Okay, this. I'm having a hard time with sense of direction. You know, it'd be nice if you had a mini map or something to just let you know have I been this way or not, because it's all purple, green, orange stuff. But. Spaz. Yay, Spaz! No, How can you just possibly still have a Windows phone? Like, phone just like a 10 year old <laughs> phone that you still play as like a mobile device? Yeah, I hope. Like a mobile gaming machine? I would hope they're not still using it for phone purposes if it's even yeah. possible to do so. I Yeah, I played a lot of them. I don't know that I can beat it. A ton of them, but. I was in the. A lot of the achievements in there. Not bad. I was in the top ten for Texas owners. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't that high up for, you know, worldwide, but for Texas I was. I was the first person to get the achievement on one of the free games. Ooh. What were the... What were the... Wordament? 
Was it Word Event? Oh, what? It was like something about... Word Event was really good. Oh, wow. Look at this. One. Uh, was it the one? Not broken guy for but like there's a discussion. Not bad. It wasn't the one where you had to flick around gnomes, was it? I forget what that one was called. No. Maybe. No, ah, crap. So. Resurrect. Um, yeah, Wordament is a genuinely good game. Although some of the achievements are a bit unfair, leaderboard-based achievements, you know. So Wordament was like cool. that. I think it. a lot, but yeah, I definitely. Wasn't it like 50 gamer score for the three games and 200 for the three games? Yes, so they would make you really work for that 50 sometimes. Yeah. Which I didn't like. Congrats, Nias. And it has a 78% trophy rating on the guest. Oh crap! <laughs> Usually likes to only do those 99% ones. <laughs> oh, Simeus. This will probably be the hardest game he's played. Does he actually have an alternate account for games that he knows he can't finish? I mean, I would do... I would at least do that if I was going to be like that, you know? I think he probably does. Because missing out on games that you would otherwise enjoy because of the achievements or trophies does suck. He does. He does play games. Still, like, he got the Platinum in Grand Theft Auto V, which is insane. Made it. Oh, yeah, that is insane. And Red Dead Redemption. And a couple Not bad. of Rock Band games. Yeah, I'm... Rock Band, whoa. <laughs> yeah, he's really good at Rock Band, actually. Wow. Did you guys ever play online together and didn't it have online eventually? No. I, I didn't really know him that well. When I had Rock Band, I don't know. But I think Same here. Oh, dang, Simeus, that's cold. Yeah, he's like, ah, I'm trying to get a new band, guys. It's like, it's like that band <laughs> where the, the singer or the guitarist is like clearly the most talented one in the group. <laughs> An agent goes to them, it's like, all right, all right, kid, I've got something big for you. You just gotta leave these losers behind. The Guardian Al asks if L2 is a ranged attack. Doesn't seem to be, but I can test it again in a minute. Maybe it was Quite on cool. another. No, Icky, I had 72,000 before I got banned. <laughs> it's such a shame that happened. I didn't have 72,000 after I started over. I only got a few thousand after that. Poor Tyler being made an example of during those dark those days. I remember it was about a hitting cow trophy. Really? Yeah. Was it an Angry Birds clone? Uh, no. He can use his new account. His old account is truly banned from Xbox Live, right? Have right. you ever tried to just log in and see if if it was a timed thing? I can check now, but yeah. Yeah, you I might as well. Couple, I haven't in a couple years, but yeah. It'd be nice if it was just like for a year or something. Oh, it's... Well, yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, I mean, however long it was, it'd be nice if it wasn't truly permanent. Like a 10 years. <laughs> He's I can't reuse the account. I'm looking up. I'm looking up my account on True Achievements. Like, I mean, it exists on True Achievements. Yeah. Because it existed wow. before it got banned, and it, but the account still exists. It wasn't deleted. I just can't access it. But like, True Achievements can still scan it. Yeah, I don't think they could legally just delete your account because of all your purchases that are tied to it. Yeah, it has left right. bumper. Like that left bumper icon comes up. Yeah, okay, so sometimes you can send a projectile in. Ah! Oh, there. It's, there is ah. no cow level. The game was called Breeze on Windows Phone. Breeze! I vaguely remember that. I don't think I liked it that much, but... I don't feel what that good. But I was really sure. Not Some too shabby. Level. Level. This is a pretty well designed boss fight, I'd say. Ah! Yeah, that's right, it's fast pull. Fast pull knows the situation. Yeah, Ow, I crap! Got, I got screwed. 
Yeah, very unfair, you know, and when it happened, I sent some emails to everyone I knew at Microsoft, but they just ignored them, which was annoying. Unfortunately, that wasn't a big enough deal. Like, if I was as big with them as Jez eventually got, you know, maybe things would have been different. But I was never... He's a butt kisser, you know? Like, I couldn't do that. Nope, I locked in it. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Tyler. Does it have a perfect record? No, I'm not gonna. But there must be no more time for fun and games. Jack and his companions of the night must embark upon the quest to slay the wizard. We're doing well. Jack now perfectly attuned to his new vessel. The owl leads him to the mountains in the distance. We're at the heart Tyler, of the mountains. did you get to play any games this week, by the way? Speaking of games... Uh, I played some of Horizons Forbidden West. That sounds like fun. I think that's the game that... Darker player messaged me about something, but she wasn't really making sense. But I, I think it might have been that one. He was maybe excited that it didn't get like 99 across the board. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just when there's something negative, she likes to seize onto it. We don't encourage it. But Platinum says if you know someone in the enforcement team, they might help. Platinum, do you know anyone in the enforcement team? Because I certainly don't. Wait, open inventory, right bumper. What's this? Oh, now I can select something else. I got a spear. Oh, and the spear dashes. It's got a different arc. Why is everything catching like, on fire? I like Horizon so far. It's a lot like the first one, but I like it. Can you still buy stuff on the Xbox website? Yeah, yeah. So mines are brimming with power. And you can like view your library and stuff. There may be a way to. That's that's a good question. Like they made it less intuitive and clunkier at some point, and it is harder to use for things like that. Like you can buy a game, no problem. It was a really nice website. Back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. Hey Shitsu, I'm sorry if I didn't say hi to you yet. Wait, Simeus is gonna watch what on HBO? Elden Ring? Elden Ring's not a show, Simeus. I'm sure you know that. Uh, okay. Well, thank you, Platinum. If you ever do hear of someone we could talk to about it, just let us know, okay? Oh, Batman. What mentioned Batman? Oh. Yeah. I do want to see it, although I'd be more excited about the Batman, Tyler, if the Riddler didn't look so dumb in it. Hey, the whole, the whole visual style just is a huge turn Yeah, it's dark and unpleasant, right? Yep. And, I mean, like, this was... Batmobile is just like a, a lifted truck and stuff. <laughs> The, the only thing I'll say about the Batmobile is in the comics, sometimes the Batmobile looked like a Dodge Charger and different things over the years. You know, yeah, like, they, they went through a lot of designs. Yeah, so I don't mind that so much because there's a hint of comics reference or accuracy to it. But the, the Penguin being Colin Farrell with ridiculous prosthetics on his face and the Riddler having that dumb costume that looks nothing like the Riddler, those two things turn me off. Oh, but also, this would have been a good chance to have Batman, like, actually have gray on his suit and not just be all black. Uh -huh. You know? But no, it's it's another all black Christian Bale looking suit, don't you think? Yeah. Um, so it's not on HBO Max to start with? They, they're, no. They're premiere movies on there? Yeah, it was only last year where they were guaranteed. And yeah. by the way, HBO Max, like, it didn't bring in enough money to be worth the lost box office yeah. profits. So but it's I a shame. Go out to watch it unless it gets like amazingly good reviews, which it won't. Well, I don't know. I mean, like some people, there are people who have seen it early and have liked it, but also you can't really trust the early praise because a lot of times it's fanboys. Yeah. I mean, there's early praise about Batman loves Superman, and everyone knows how that turned out. Yeah. Well, I just DC in general doesn't have like a track record of like quality. Yeah. Oh, no, great. Yeah. Exactly, they're they're a risk. So, yeah, you may be about right about that horror acolyte. Also, speaking of things I don't like about the look of that movie is Robert Pattinson's hair. Like as Bruce Wayne, I just really don't like his hairstyle. I know that's a, a silly thing to complain about, and here I'm a guy who does not have great hair, you know. But I just it's 
unpleasant the way it's parted and stuff. Don't care for it. Christian Bale looked better as Bruce. I'm finding a fair number of skulls, although I'm sure I also missed a ton. Yeah, that's cool. Left bumper, which is L1, is the one that you can use to send your crow at people. Also, it's cool that you get more than one weapon. Oh, thank you, Spazpole. But, but Spaz, how would I... What would be my door in? Because it's not like we have any experience of working together. When I emailed people at Microsoft, it was all people that I knew in some way. Okay, we don't want to go that way, I don't think. Can I dash in the air? Yes, I can. I did do the... They opened up an appeal thing a while ago, and I did do the appeal, and that didn't work either. Gosh, like, why the heck not? I know. They just don't realize how much money they lost by locking out a customer like you who would have bought a lot of stuff over yeah. time. And they had already bought a ton of stuff on them. On yeah. That. It's sort of like, like at school, when kids do something wrong, we could write them up every time, you know, we could call home every time they do something wrong. But if you do that, then sometimes you're going to lose the relationship with the kid when you didn't have to. Right. So, kind of reminds me of that. What I'm saying is that you're like a child, Tyler. Yeah, I need constant supervision. <laughs> can't stay off your dang phone to save your life. I, I can't, yeah. I, I mean, I can't imagine what school is like with cell phones. It's rough, dude. Like, teaching would have been a much better job before cell phones became a thing. I do trust a five-year-old with, like, my phone or my computer more than I trust a 50-year-old. <laughs> Interesting way of putting things. Yeah, there's not a lot of issues with Horizon. I mean, like I said, Dark Player likes to live in the Twitterverse where everything is blown up to a level. The, the, uh, what or, or she's personally blowing it up some. Like, takes That's a thing possible. that has a negative element and she just perceives it to a higher degree of negativeness yeah, than it should but, be. But I think that social media is the for that as well. Like, here, look at this glitch in Horizon. No, look at this glitch, and then, you know, that's it. I had one glitch, it was really funny, like, uh, I guess I killed an enemy while it was on, like, a mount, and so it, like, fell off, but it was just, like, spinning in the air over and over and over while the whole scene was over, and then, then the whole scene was over, and the, the enemy was just still spinning. It was hilarious. But besides that, it's been working fine for me. Yeah. I'm glad it's been fine for you. And Simeus, you're right. That is a weird thing. I mean, but Simeus, it's not like you're immune to having fanboyish thoughts about the competition. But, but yeah, um, I don't, I don't get that. Like I've always, you know, like I want Xbox to catch up. So when something that is good for Xbox happens, it makes me happy. But I don't want bad things to happen to games that are on Sony, and I don't want Sony gamers to lose out on things specifically. You know, so I don't. And, but, of course, I also have the PlayStation, and I do buy games for it sometimes, so... Microsoft I'm not. stole two years of live from him. They stole, like, hundreds <laughs> of games in a year of live from me. Really? Oh, did Simeus also get banned from the one thing? Uh -uh. I don't know. The, I don't know the story uh -huh. behind losing years of live. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know what I'm trying to do with this bomb. Like, we have a bomb that you can knock around and stuff, and it resets if you mess it up, so let's reset it. But I don't see what I'm actually supposed to do with it, and that makes this less fun. <laughs> well, go look around and figure out what you're supposed to do with it. Maybe I will. Not because you said so, just because I want to. Whoops. Oh, I finally tripped that switch. Oh wow, really, Simeus? That's well, I can see why you would be annoyed by that, because that does suck. They used to have really, really terrible customer, like, completely horrible customer policies and customer support. They, they have good stuff now, but I mean, before, like, you had no opportunity to question what you did on your account. Yeah, I can see that. Now, place, that's, now that's how PlayStation has <laughs> Yay! Oh, man, I knocked it in the water after I got it past the thing. Oh, jeez. Really? And, Simeus, what did you do about that? Did you try to get them to restore it? 
bought a PlayStation. <laughs> He's just like, that's it. Yeah, yeah, because he has more gamer score than I do. Huh. He's the pretty big Xbox gamer. I never would have known. But I'm still better than him at Rock. Really? Oh yeah. But you said he was very good. I'm just better. Oh, I see. Did you play the Beatles Rock Band? I did play that one on Wii, of all things. <laughs> Why on the I Wii? I, I think I only had a Wii when I bought it and it came out. Really? I didn't know you ever only had a Wii. Yeah. Good. Those must have been dark times. You know, the Wii came out when HDMI already existed, so the Wii was always at a big disadvantage picture quality wise. Well, yeah, when I was in college, I didn't do a lot of gaming because I was working and going to college, and gaming just kind of like was fell off the black burner. And I was always a Nintendo person, so I had a GameCube, and so like you didn't really have to do a whole lot of gaming with GameCube because you only got like two games a year maybe that were worth playing. <laughs> and so, uh, crap. How far did it push me back? All the way to the beginning. I think the bomb is still back where it was, because oh, nice. it kicked me back, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. not here. <laughs> Weird. So I stopped in the GameCube era, and then I never got into the next era. Well, I mean, I never got a PlayStation 2. Yep, there's the and bomb. And then I missed, you know, I didn't get an Xbox until the Slim. What was it called? Not the Slim. The one before the Slim. Uh... 360S? Was it a 360S? Yeah, I think it was the S or whatever. It was black and it came with Halo. That's not bad. But, and, but there, there was a good four or five years where I didn't do much gaming at all. And so I had a Wii because I had a Wii. Well, in a way, I don't blame you, Tyler, because when I was in college, you know, I had my. I already owned the 360, so like. I played a lot of Oblivion for a while, and then I mostly played my PSP because I was just, I spent every day studying and doing my work. There we go. So, uh, yeah, during that time, it was the time that I played the least games in my lifetime. Yep. Okay, do I want to push this into those fireworks? I assume I do. So that's fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yay! How are we doing? So, like, I mean, I, the Wii, you know, held held over the gaming that I had time for with, like... Bomberman! Twilight, that's a fun Twilight, achievement name. Twilight Princess, and... I don't know what else was on there that was any good. Mario... Uh, hold on. No. It's the Whatever Sunshine. The sunshine, no. right? No? Sunshine on the game, too. Yeah. Oh. Galaxy. Galaxy! Yeah. I played a little smidge of that one, but I don't remember it at all. It's okay, cool. which way am I going now? Again, I don't like the sense of direction thing. Like, give me a compass or something. He was actually go a great student. Go towards... I don't think you can go back that way. This way? Forward. Look. That way. Okay. Yeah, you can go that way. I don't All think right. you can go back to that cave. I see, I see. Yeah, thank you, tech guy. Yeah, no, I mean... I always regretted that my my high school career was very rocky because of having a baby during high school, you know, and I finished high school, I didn't get a GED, but I still always regretted that it was so rocky because I'm a, a gifted and talented person, you know, so like I should be performing at capacity, not like barely even passing at all, you know? And uh, so when I got to college, though, I just I also felt bad about starting college so late because I went to college really late because, again, I just had a screwed up early life. And uh, but when I got to college, I said, I'm just going to do the best I possibly can. You know, like I considered it very important and I treated it that way and it worked out. And I never made less than an A minus, which is pretty good for college. But those two A minuses that I got, those professors suck. They should have just given me an A. They ruined your 4.0. Yeah, really. Like, I would have been the, the top honors instead of just cum laude. <laughs> Thank you for counting, Darker Player. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I feel like this is backtracking. Like, I've been to this spot. Oh, have you? Yeah. And, again, the game just doesn't give you a good... S I mean... Yeah. It, well, if it's going to take you out to little areas, it needs to bring you to, like, a new area where it's obvious of which way you were 
really. Yeah, exactly, because you lose your point of reference. Oh, thank you, tech guy. Yeah, my bad, everybody. Sorry to waste your time. We've got... It would be nice if we could get to another boss or something, but... I don't know. But this is a... It's quite a good game, you know? Like, if just numerically, I would imagine I would probably give it, like, a, a 7 or 8 out of 10. Maybe even an 8 out of 10. It's... There just aren't that many games like this, so... It's pretty special by that virtue. And other than the weird dialogue bubbles, it's the presentation is quite good too, story-wise. Good luck, everybody. One more chance to win. Ah, that's okay, Tyler. Talk to a bat or attack a bat or something. A barf bat. Yeah, he's up. Oh, we got him. I didn't even have to get close. Nice job. <laughs> Yeah, again, Darker Player, I'm not sure why you would say that. But, here we go. Ah, uh, whoops. Okay. Are there any games coming out that you're excited about, Tyler? I think Elden Ring looks really cool. I'm not going to get it or play it anytime soon, but I think it looks cool. You're going to wait for half off or something? Uh, I mean, I haven't played like Style of games still play, so okay, what are your, what are your excuses for not even I have played Dark Souls 3, Tyler? Yeah, we have a it. No, but I got pretty far. I just you know I was a reviewer and I had to move on. The, I don't know, they're long games. I usually play short games. <laughs> Me too, but I mean I gave that game a perfect score. I think Dark Souls 3 is wonderful. You really should play yeah, it sometime. But I beat Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. See? So that means that you'd certainly have a good time in Dark Souls 3. I know. I'm just, yeah, but they, what's your reason for not playing every game that looks cool and seems cool? I try to play them eventually if I think they're going to be that cool. I did well, play Dark Souls 2. And I'll play it eventually. Yeah, we need it. <laughs> what if you got hit by a bus or something, Tyler? Well, yeah. I mean, it would mess up the stream, you know, and, and Mama Tyler would be all sad, and all, all the little baby Tylers that never met their dad, they'll never have a chance if that happens. So, we, we certainly don't want that to happen, but I mean, you can't save things just forever and ever, is, that's my point. And Gran Turismo, the be-all and all of racing games on consoles. <laughs> what made you think of that? Um, What's up, what? Oh, oh, I see. It comes out next week, and it's going to be well poised to compete with Forza 4 or 5, I'm sure. That's right. That Forza, Forza 4 has got nothing. <laughs> Microsoft's only on Forza 4, right? Um, 7. Oh, yeah. Well, this is Gran Turismo 7, so there. Perfect. <laughs> this and is weird. Am I... Oh... That's, I had to hit Y and jump into it. Wee! Here we go. That's more like it. Hold on tight. Yeah, it, it's weird, Platinum. I mean, like, I can see why Gran Turismo used to be the greatest thing for a while, right? Oops. Okay, I forgot I have to use left bumper to shoot things ahead of me. Anyway, like, I can see how you just never adjusted your perspective. You're like, wow, Gran Turismo is the greatest. I can't wait for a new one. It's been 12 years. It'll be great. But anyone who knows about the games industry would know that the Forza series has, like, kept on going and is just indisputably wonderful, you know? So it would be harder to think as highly of Gran Turismo. Not that I don't think people shouldn't look forward to it or something, but you just got to be realistic. Yeah, I mean, if you really like racing games, it's nice to get a high-quality racing game every year. Versus yeah. Gran Turismo is, like, what's per console generation if you like Exactly. That's what I mean. So that's ah. the one that you like, live and die by. You definitely have a lot of time in between games. <laughs> you might as well start playing for it. So oh, my gosh. Game. Yeah, for real. You'd have a lot more entertainment that way. And even if Forza wasn't virtually every year, you know, even if they, it was every three years, they'd still be easily yeah, well, winning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
But um, we've probably talked about it before, but I think there's like some serious development excess or problems going on with Turismo that makes the releases that infrequent. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. It's all developed out of Japan, right? Yeah, and I mean, they'll sometimes Japan, like if the guy has enough clout, the director kind of guy, they will let them get away with a lot, you know, yeah. with, that American companies wouldn't do. Yeah, we made it through that part. Achievement too. Yeehaw. Yeah. Well, Horror Acolyte, I like arcade style racers too, and yet I also I do enjoy the regular Sim style Forza games. Like they have enough accessibility options that I can have fun with them. But the you know the Forza Horizon games are they're the bomb. Like they're so so good. So. Can't even get you know, out of your car. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's too bad. Like, it'd be neat if it was just some full open world experience. But the. <laughs> Make them Grand Theft Auto. But you know, in in the latest Horizon, Tyler, you might remember, your character does, like, get out and talk and stuff. It's just that you can't just do it on your own. Right. And you can, like, create them. They have one leg and one arm. You had, like, a, <laughs> the a robot. Yeah. yeah. I do like the cyborg stuff. Reminds me of the robot. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Yeah, we should all be reading that message from Moobot about dupes. We, you know, we we love all of our viewers dearly, but it would be better if we didn't have people who were inexplicably trying to cheat the system. We that does cause us some distress from time to time. Ah. Um, the way there's a thing on the side, like, kind of implies that there's another way to go, but I don't see another way to go to find a collectible. Go so. over there besides green fog. Yeah, it only looks like green fog. But why is that little platform there when you could just go over the top yeah. of it? I don't oh well. No ideas, right? Just move on. Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah. Go team. So. Do we want to just do we want to cut things off or do we want to try to get to a stopping point? Um, yeah, that's fine. All right. Well, I always I always enjoy talking with you, Tyler. And if the kids will hang out with us, then we might as well go on a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm entertaining. I'm exciting. <laughs> you are. You got that right. I'm not. That's why you get all that great Tyler fan fiction written about you. Yes. <laughs> just making me think it like hey um, people writing fan fiction about us what a world right <laughs> kid. yeah everyone please do check out my articles today we wrote a new article about the ascent coming out on playstation did you already know about that before i posted it tyler no i had completely forgot about that game you said it was oh. kind of a big mess so yeah it I mean, it was, but the core game was good, so I was, yeah. I would assume that by now they have fixed the bugs, and that hopefully PlayStation version will come out of the gate without that stuff holding it back. Maybe it'll come out for Plus, because it's multiplayer focus or something. That'd be nice, but, I mean, it already came out on Game Pass, and it's still on Game Pass, so would they do that? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't think there's probably a rule against it. But I don't know. Yeah, just how common is such a thing, though. So, probably just need to go up. Oh, nice. Platinum got all the achievements. Yeah, Brandy and I were just talking about it. Like, we regretted that we had to stop playing it, but it just constantly would crash when we were playing online co-op, you know? Like, if you're playing four-player and every person has a chance of crashing or freezing, then you're talking about four times the likelihood of hitting these obnoxious crashes and bugs. Uh, God, come on, Paul. Concentrate. I'm not concentrating. So what have you watched lately, Tyler? You watched the first episode of Boba Fett. Did you ever get any farther? No. You know, the second episode is better. Sure I will. Yeah, at least watch number two. I'll get through it at some point. If if you don't end up liking number two very much, then maybe it's not the show for you, except for the Mandalorian episodes. Yeah. But. No, I'm sure I'll watch it. Um, I watched some of the challenge, 
and I watch some of Space Force on Netflix. Oh, how is Space Force? I like it. It doesn't. I mean, it's not like laugh out loud funny, and it does. It does feel like maybe. So it has a really big caliber. It's by it's like by Greg Daniels and Steve Carell, you know. Um, but maybe it's only like kind of by them or something. I don't know, you know. Like they put their name on it and wrote a couple episodes and called it good. Because um, mm-hmm. it's not super funny, but I, to me it's entertaining, and I really like some of the characters. But I can understand why others don't really love it. Huh? And are they still making they, it? Yeah, second season just came out. Oh, cool. Well, is that a collectible or a lantern? Just a lantern. Okay, so let's go on. But it's funny. There's a real funny early episode in the first season mm-hmm. about a monkey in space. Right. A chimpanzee, I can't remember, something like that. <laughs> primate of some type? A primate of some type in space. Definitely an animal in space, guys. Yep. Of this, there can be no doubt. Is there a collect... Now I'm kind of just, like, collectible worried, but then again, I've already missed some, so... Yeah. Well, I think in their per level, because they're out of 20, and then, like, you were getting high, and then they went lower or something. Yeah, you're right about that. Space Jam 3. I just hope they don't... I hate to say it, but I hope they don't make a Space Jam 3 because Part 2 is just so horrendously bad. Like, I really don't understand why Tyler professes to like it. Yeah, it's funny. Stupid, dumb fun. The middle, like, the middle 50 minutes, the middle 60 minutes are good. There's, it's I mean, too long. I guess there's a couple... <laughs> it is very long. But yeah, I mean, I guess there were a couple of actual jokes in there at some point, but... There's a but whole like lot all of the part wow. stuff cool and a lot of nostalgia. All I mean, going to, going to the different worlds. You know, it's a movie to me, Tyler. It honestly seems like it was written by an algorithm. I mean, it's like it's trying to be what what marketing people think are cool. Yeah, which by the way is a stupid name, and he's a terrible character. Yeah, I mean, just like. To me, Space Jam 1, you know, you got a lo- like a little bit of goofy acting here and there, but like, I don't really see anything wrong with it. Like, it's it's just a simplistic, comedic kids movie, but Space Jam 2 has a lot wrong with it, so I don't, I don't know. Okay, which way do I go? On the carts. And there's parts, like, for instance, like I was saying about the algorithm thing, I'm going to go this other way instead. But, you know, like, I'm somebody who would enjoy the, like, the visiting the Batman the Animated Series Justice League universe. That's something that I should enjoy, right? Like, if it was done with any level of artistry and competence. But there's there's nothing to enjoy from a story perspective of that part. Hey, we get an achievement and also we're dancing for some reason. Dance. Put the moves. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to put a part where you visit the Justice League world, do something good with it. But they didn't do anything I thought, good I thought it was alright, except for like some of the characters that <laughs> yeah, and it's not like I mean, come on, it's a movie. You can afford to get a few people to record a couple of lines of dialogue. Yeah. Sort of like being too cheap for John DiMaggio. Let's beat this darn level so we can call it a night. Yeah, free yeah. guy was free guy was entertaining but very stupid. Like are you, really stupid. Are you saying they're at the same level of quality? Is that what you're I mean, uh, I most Free people would probably say Free Guy is better. Gotcha. I probably liked it a little better, yeah. I see, I see. Good to see you, BC. Thank you. Yeah, you have a good night, too. Ah. Yeah, I need to figure out what I'm doing. Really, you haven't eaten yet? A lot of times you eat right before the stream, huh? Oh, God. Yeah, sometimes. I had a late lunch, so I wasn't hungry, but now I am. Ah. Uh, I, I had Arby's for lunch. Ooh, that's good stuff. I like Arby's. A lot of people don't, but I do. Yeah, I, I don't know why they complain. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. Why? They, we talked. We might have talked about it before, but the regular Arby curly fries, I don't like that much. But yeah, they have they, crinkle. F- but they got those crinkle fries, and they're great. If you I like crinkle, the crinkle fries. Crinkle fries are new. Like I mean, they didn't used to have crinkle fries. Oh. Your only option was the crappy curly fries. Oh, but I don't you. like. Dang. Ah, crap. 
I've fallen five times. Thank you for counting my deaths, game. <laughs> Fall gaze, darker player? That's yes. interesting. Is demanding attention. Yeah. But, oh, crap. Yeah, what I don't like here is the safe... You got guys shooting at you, and the safe spot from the carts that are constantly going by is not very large. So... Not really a good safe spot. You gotta get to the next one. It's bigger. Yeah, indeed. And you just gotta jump over the carts if you... With your double jump. You know, <sighs> the, the other enemies, they... Like, that guy, he shot me before I had a time to react. You know, it's just like I come around the corner and get shot. To me, it, it's designed that way, you know? Like, maybe I was too slow, but it didn't seem that way. Yeah, some people really like early prize. I don't get it. Don't get yeah, they're a lot different now. from them. <laughs> I don't either, to be honest. Not that I hate they them, really but like, I... They're usually, like, soggy, too. They're, like, always undercooked. Huh. Please get me out of here. I don't want to be in that part anymore. Can a bird get vertigo? No, birds can't get vertigo. <laughs> so Fall, right, now guys we gotta... Fall Guys isn't on Xbox yet? Oh. No, I guess it's not. I forgot oh, it even existed. Yeah, I mean, most people did after a month or two, but it was fun for a month or two. It can't mm -hmm. be that hard to get on to other systems, and they surely made a ton of money. Yeah, I think it was just a timed exclusivity deal, kind of like the Ascent. Uh -oh. It must have been a long timed exclusivity one. Yeah, because it's been, been out two years. A year now. I think just one. Oh, just one. Okay. But yeah. But, like, even the Ascent, it was only half a year, it seems. It must be timed then, especially with it coming on PlayStation Plus. It must have put together a big thing. Same with Rocket League, right? Wasn't Rocket League an exclusive for a long time on PlayStation? Yeah. You're right, it was. They've got a good eye for those for those multiplayer games that are going to catch on. Although Rocket League has a lot more legs than Fall Guys. Oh, yeah. Sure seems that way. Okay, I made it. Well, I got another collectible. Fall Guys is fun. Like, I mean, I would probably for sure still play it if their new seasons added trophies. But their new seasons didn't add trophies, which is really annoying. Yeah, that is annoying. Crap. So the enemies shoot projectiles at you, and if you're not very purposeful, if you're not purposeful with your jumps, it's... Uh, okay, well, I think we've had enough. Yeah, I would call it. <laughs> Alas. It's, it's an annoying segment, and it's not that I cannot beat this segment or anything, but just, it's not fun, so that's a good time to stop. Anyway, everybody, we've been playing Pumpkin Jack for Xbox. It's also on PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and Steam sells for $30. If you want this game and you didn't win a copy, it is on sale for about $14 right now on PlayStation. So it's a good time to buy the PlayStation version. So anyway, thanks to HeadUp for giving us some codes. Tyler, thanks for co-hosting and being great as always. Yep, happy to be here. Brandy Bell, thanks for hanging out with us. I want to thank all of you guys for watching the stream with us, and especially our subscribers for being awesome and literally funding the stream and keeping us going. So all of you guys are the best, and we love hanging out with you every week. Please don't forget we stream on Saturday Game School every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. Pacific. And we do it whether the host is sick or not sometimes, because I'm definitely feeling a little sick tonight, but that's okay. It's always a different game, and we always have different cool prizes to give out. Hey, I just got past that part. Yep. That's funny. All I had to do is not take it so slow. Who'd have thought? You're welcome. Yeah, we'll see you guys next Saturday. And remember, don't hate. Appreciate. See you guys. Bye. That ought to hold those little pumpkin heads. <laughs> Let's say bye to all our friends. I see Netmint, Jono, Shitsu, Chicago, Darker Player, Horror Acolyte, No Time for Games. Did I say Tech Guy? Bob Jones! That guy. Royal Bob was here earlier. Yeah, for Tom. one. BCA. <laughs> Perfect Zero. BC. BC. <gasps> Heaven Smile! Heaven Smile is the only reason we do this stream, so we can't forget about him. Perfect Platinum. Zero. Yes, Perfect Zero, Tom. 
Guardian Allen Simeus were here. Oh yeah, it was nice to see them. BX Latino. We have such a cool audience. I always enjoy hanging out with them. Mm -hmm. 